Stocks closing higher today thanks to strong financial results led by Google's parent company, Alphabet. Here are the numbers. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up nearly 200 points, closing at 25,241. The S&P 500 up 13, ending the day at 2820. The Nasdaq, though, ended up with a minimal loss on the day, closing at 7840. Market analysis now from Ryan Christensen of Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. He joins us from the newsroom. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Brian. So let's talk about first the markets looked like they were on track for a big day, the Nasdaq in particular, and then things kind of faded as the day went on. What was going on? Yeah, well, there's some initial optim uh, optimism around the foreign markets as they had had a great day. Most of them were up between a half and a full percent. And this all came off of the back of an announcement out of Beijing that included tax cuts to their people, infrastructure spending, and new loans to businesses. It's clear that they're trying to stimulate their economy after the recent tariff-related slow. As a result, Investors responded positively, hoping that this could spur on the Chinese economy and get it back into growth mode. Okay, so that's talking about international markets. What about the domestic market? What was moving things here in the U.S.? Yeah, absolutely. We're in the middle of uh, earnings season, and one of the biggest names in tech, Alphabet, Google's parent company, reported last night after the bell. That means that today there was investors' first chance to, re to react to the good news. Google had crushed expectations surrounding its net income. Investors had been concerned that the big fines that the company may be for to pay as a result of its antitrust practices in Europe were going to destroy the company's profitability for the quarter. Turns out that despite a, um, a, uh, accounting for that said fine, they reported a $3.2 billion net income. They reported that the earnings per share would double if that fine isn't applied, and they also reported that they are planning on appealing that in the courts. So investors rewarded them, and they closed the day up over 3%. All right, so am I looking at Alphabet as, as too much of a factor in the NASDAQ? I figured Alphabet goes, goes up, the NASDAQ in general will go up. Why didn't that happen? Yeah, so that's a great question, uh, Brian. Uh, the NASDAQ opened up big to the upside, but out the Alphabet Earnings Party stopped pretty quickly. Three main companies, big name companies that we all know, uh, played a role in the slide, as Microsoft, Netflix, and Tesla were all down on the day. Interestingly enough, though, they weren't the main culprit. Small cap the small cap sector of that index was the biggest detractor. Small cap companies are driven by expectations of strong growth. But it seems like the big names in that sector have been the ones showing the big results. And with Google's big day to day, I think investors decided to shift some of their money away from the small cap sector and towards the large cap sector. And that's what resulted in the slowdown in the NASDAQ. All right, let's talk about a company you've talked about. Actually, you were here a few weeks ago talking about Biogen. Yesterday, we were talking about Biogen. You were talking about the good results they had on their Alzheimer's drug. That made a big difference a few weeks ago. Yesterday, it was uh, another drug that they had some mixed news on, but what's going on with them today? They had earnings report today, right? Yeah, earnings report. So the answer to like what's driving their, their growth is a little bit of earnings and a little bit of future news. Uh, they did beat expectations on a revenue and an earnings per share basis, and any fundamental investor would be super excited about that. But those numbers are just two fu um, fundamental uh, data points. The eyes and I think the emotions of the investors are going to stay on uh, Biogen because tomorrow they are going to be presenting more detailed clinical clinical trials about the, the Alzheimer's drug that you were talking about, the one that spiked their stock price over 20% uh, earlier this month. If the results live up to the hype, uh, they will not only have one, but two drugs that are in this space that could be helping with this horrible disease. And I think investors are really excited about it. And with no other big drugs in the pipeline, it's a big day tomorrow for a big local company. Boy, if the facts do live up to the hype, Hope you got Biogen tomorrow yeah. because it's poised to go crazy. What else should we be looking at besides Biogen tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow we get the earnings continue to roll in. We're going to get GM and Ford, both the big car companies here in the United States, Coca-Cola, Facebook, and Boeing all reporting tomorrow. And these are going to give us not only a little bit of an insight into the U.S. economy, but also an insight into the global economy. So at Advisor Investments, we'll be kind of taking a look, a deep look in there and, and seeing what the, the, the overall trends are. Yeah, big global companies. Ryan Christensen, Advisor Investments, thanks. Thanks, Brian.